What is up everyone, this is Multitutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to fix your Windows did not detect any networking hardware error that you may be facing on your Windows device. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to write CMD and we're going to open up the command prompt. We're going to run as an administrator because that's important and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do IP config, IP config, uh, uh, sorry, slash flush DNS almost forgot what that was. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to flush the DS uh, resolve for cache as you, as you can see it happens and the next thing you're going to do is net sh uh, on winsock reset. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Reset. So the reason why we did admin is because the second component would not have run without you doing that. And then after that you're going to restart your computer to let the essentially this kind of flow through the process successfully. So once you do that you should be good to go and if hopefully this like i said fixes the issue for you if this obviously still doesn't fix the issue for you what you're going to do next is you're going to close the cmd prompt and you're going to basically write troubleshoot settings in here we're going to there's a few things you can troubleshoot but we're going to explicitly go to additional troubleshooting and we're going to fix like anything with like internet connection or network adapters we're basically going to click this run the troubleshooter let it find any possible issues and like let it go from there so you can do both all network adapters let it run and then like i said incoming connections as well as well as like internet connections so kind of run troubleshooter on all those three items and kind of go from there the final thing you're going to do once that's done as well you're going to do reset network um actually let's write network reset so you're going to write network reset and you're going to click here the reason we do search bars is it's a lot easier to do this and this one it tells you this will remove then reinstall all your network adapters and others uh and set other networking components back to the original setting so it's entirely possible you downloaded like a software a vpn or something that may have screwed up your network settings and now you're having these issues you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as vpn client softwares or virtual switches so if i press this it'll restart my computer uh, but it'll fix m these issues that you're facing. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. More than enough, because up. If you guys like this video, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with that notification button. And that, more tutorials out. Peace.